everyone. So I'm here to do another Little Black Bag unboxing. This one is not going to be quite as big as my last one, but still, I did get a lot of good stuff. So let's get started and see what there is. So the first item I'm going to show you is this New Me Hydro Punch um, hydrating shampoo. And basically, I'm just trying to get it out of the way. Um, I don't think I'm really going to be using it, but I might give it to one of my family members or something, but um, it's cute. I mean, it's a nice travel size. At least you can, you know, get a feel of the product in case you want to get the full thing. Um, it is for dry or colored treated hair, so yeah. Next is the Robert Rose Studded Bangle, I believe, and it retails for $24, and I'll let you get a close-up of that. And there is the tag. I will say that on the website, it does look a little bit more of a pale yellow gold. And as you can see, um, it looks a little bit more rustic and a little bit of a darker gold. So if you're interested in this bangle, um, just keep that in mind. It has a nice um, hinge put it on and I shall put that on for you. Yeah, so it's cute. The next item I will be showing you is the Gold Skull Earrings by Jewel Smith and they retailed for 20 Four dollars, I believe. Let me just double check for you. Twenty-five, and they're real cute. Let you see them. Real sparkly. And on the back, it just says JewelSmithDesigns.com. I haven't checked out that website yet, but I may, because these are very cute. Um, <clears throat> I got them, and I just didn't want to trade for them. Um, I did trade one of my original items. Ooh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I did trade one of my original items, but I really wanted these, and oddly enough, they're really popular. Um, but then again, I mean, they're cute, so who isn't going to want them? The next piece that I have is by is by All the Rage and it is the square bib necklace. And I'll let you take a look close up. It does start off as more of a pale pink. It's very bright. Let me adjust something here. It does start off as more of a pale pink at the top, um, and then it goes a bit darker towards the bottom. And I shall try this on. I believe this retailed for 30 Probably have to double check on that too, because I'm not quite sure. As you can see, it's very pretty. Um, it lays very nice. Lays very nice. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think I saw in Miss Candy's video that she had. I think she had the blue one. Um, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, you know, it's really pretty. Um, I really wanted it. So I'm happy that I got that. That retail. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's double check. It retailed for 30. Yes. 
Next, I am going to go on to a necklace by All the Rage. And it is This stone necklace, um, that's all it says, it's a stone necklace. So, touch it all over you. It does get kind of um, twisted easily. But, okay, easily fix it. And that what that looks like. And it's just very pretty. Um, some people were complaining that they thought it was smaller than they originally thought. Um, but honestly, I think it's a nice size. Um, I think it's just a fun piece. The quality, it is a bit light. Um, like a, seems a little on the cheaper side, but because it is cute, um, I'm willing to overlook that. Yeah, just very cute, kind of edgy. Um, and last but not least, out of the jewelry items that I received, I got one of the Bindi bracelets. Um, these were super popular uh, last week when I had my bag open. And I know why, because it's super cute. It comes with this little bow, um, just like a string that ties them all together. And when you unravel it, it's just this long mono bracelet. And then you just kind of, um, I'll put it on. I don't have anything on. I can probably see if I can squeeze it on without taking it off. Only thing is, it's hard to to clip it with the button. If you're doing it yourself, it takes a little bit of practice. But see, I just squeezed it on without even having to undo it. So um, I can tell it is real leather. It's smells like real leather. When you take it out um, of the packaging, you can smell it right away. Um, it's not a bad smell. It just smells like leather. Um, they're turquoise beads. They're really cute. It also has like these little metal, like shiny looking kind of. I don't even know if they're beads. It just looks like metal. Um, but it's just a lot of fun. I actually have the brown one with the taupe crystals in my bag right now and I'm really looking forward to that. I don't think I'm going to trade them um, just because I really like this a lot and I think it will be even cuter if I have more to go with them. Um, another nice thing that you see, it is made in the USA. So that's always nice to see. So that was it for the jewelry items that I had. Um, next I'm going to be showing you this hairspray that I got. And it is by Sebastian. Is there anything else that? <laughs> Sebastian. No, just by Sh Sebastian. It is this Shaper Zero Gravity. Um, and I actually use this hairspray. Oh, it's getting a little dark. Is it better? Okay. I actually use this hairspray today. Um, and the one thing I really love about it. And this is the problem I have with hairsprays, is that a lot of them contain water. And I have extremely frizzy, curly hair. And when you use a hairspray that has water in it, what's going to happen? Your hair is going to frizz up. It's going to start to wave. Um, yeah, it's going to keep it together. But is it, I mean, it's going to make it frizzy. So this one is a, it's a dry, brushable, lightweight hairspray. And I used it. It didn't make my hair frizzy at all. Um, it actually doesn't contain water, as I see in the back. So that is something that's really nice. Um, it smells pretty good, too. I mean, as far as hairsprays go. I don't 
and out. It has a little bit of a florally scent, but not overpoweringly floral. Um, but yeah, definitely a good hairspray, and it's also a big plus that it comes in this big bottle, so this should be lasting me a while. So the next item that I was super excited to get, um, I had been eyeing this for a long time, and it is the Deluxe Heidi Zip Wallet in the color orange. It comes in this nice little dust bag. Um, that's always nice. Um, but look how big it is. It is a big wallet, and I love that. Um, the one thing I will say that I feel like on the site was a little misleading is it, or, you know, it might have just been me. I don't know, but it looked a little more pinkish, like of a corally color. Um, and even on the Ustream video, I think they did say coral. But in actuality, it really is an orange. It's like a burnt um, color orange, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, it's still very cute, and I like it a lot. But I'll let you take a close look. And the camera color is very true to color. So it is kind of this burnt orange. Um, the bow, it looked almost like this was a white um, with the stripe, but it's actually more of a, like a taupe. Um, and then it is orange, too. Um, zip it open for you. And inside, I love how spacious it is. Um, it just gives you, it gives you a lot of room for stuff. And it's super cute. It has the deluxe tag right there, so I'll turn down the brightness so you can see. Has the deluxe tag and all these pockets and areas. Has this little pocket. And it's nice and purple in there, which is cute. One thing I thought that was super, you know, fun is um, is it is big enough and I was seeing because I don't have a huge phone, um, but it's big enough for me to put my phone in there, and then I can zip that up too and have it in there. So it can kind of be a clutch, um, too, because you can fit a good amount of stuff in here, and it is very spacious, so I thought, you know, if I go out, you know, this could be a clutch for me too, which is a lot of fun. So I was extremely happy about that. So last but not least, um, I got the Neela Anthony studded bottom satchel in the color blush, and I love it. Um, it's nice. It's a it's a nice size. Um, not too big, not too small. I can show you right on the shoulder. It does fit um, a little snug, like over the shoulder like this, but it does come with. A detachable strap as well, which is nice. Um, the studding, it is a very structured bag, which I do like structured bags. Um, the stud detailing goes around here, and it doesn't have it on the back, but it does have a pocket here. So, really cute lining. Um, I really love the lining on this bag. It does have studs at the bottom of the feet, and inside. Still the cute lining, pocket here, Neela Anthony tag, and then over here, two pockets for your cell phone or whatever you would like. Um, yeah, I'm extremely happy with it. I think it retailed for 71 and very pleased. I with love it. everything that I got. Um, it all came so nice. The packaging was even a little better this time. They put a little bit more tissue paper. Um, nothing came damaged. Just really, really, really love Little Black Bag products. Please let me know anything else you would like to see from me. I'm up for suggestions. So anything, you know, any feedback that you guys give me would be great. Uh, I am working on a Little Black Bag right now. So, by the end of next week, I should have another video up. Thank you for watching. Bye.